Okay, hey, this is Mark with Road Notes. We are about to leave on our, our uh, maiden voyage, so to speak, and we are heading to Thousand Trails in Claremont, Florida, and we actually live in Claremont, Florida. So this is gonna be our test two weeks in the campground where we test out our new rig Onyx and make sure all the connections work, water works, sewer works, uh, water heater works, and all those things, all the things we really haven't been able to check here at our home base. So this is a short drive for us. This is only about 12, 13 miles from our house. So, but with this size um, motor home, it'll probably take me about 30, 40 minutes to get there nice and easy and you know, it's small streets to go. So off we go and we hope everything goes well. Brakes off, in drive, and off we go.
checked in with you? I know it, in that little car, right? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay, up through the gate. And then you asked me if I would come along. I just can't seem to believe in the thought. But everyone says that it's obvious. Oh, If you have a moment, join us at Our Village. Log on to ourvillage.com and set up your account. Don't forget to send a friend request to us at Mark and Leslie. And don't forget to join our group at Road Notes. We look forward to seeing you at Our Village, the place where RVers meet. So, say something. I'm ready to play golf. What else about our maiden voyage? I have no desire to go back to my house. Oh! Can you keep control of your balls? <coughs> Sorry. Dropped one of my balls. Golf balls.
Well, so first trip with Onyx is going well. Yeah. A couple of issues. Not crazy, but that's why we do this. Figure things out. Which direction are we going? Hello. That way. Hi. Hi. Okay, so we're getting ready to play mini golf and we're looking for the first hole. It's pretty nice. Part of the amenities. Looks to be pretty new. And Leslie wants to raise the stakes with a bet. He was, he won't do it. Oh, I will do it, but I don't know what the bet is. Here's one. So what's the bet? We might be playing golf Caddyshack style because there is a, uh, <laughs> what looks like a storm coming. <laughs> yeah, it's getting a little windy. Yeah. battery went dead I got to just went to replace it Leslie teed off and hole in one one and no proof but I was a witness so she's now back to plus one I'm at plus one and I have this putt to remain at plus one so three chances four <laughs> Well, that's one way to get down there. <laughs> Sunday mini golf. I'm plus three, Leslie's plus six. Last hole for dinner. I'm feeling good about my chances. What about you? Not so good anymore. It's like <laughs> after I shot it over the whole hole. Yeah, the back nine uh, gave her more trouble than the front nine. Other winner. The loser. No, two winners. Really, Making dinner. Really enjoyed it. And I will enjoy dinner. Home cooked by Leslie. So as you can see, we made it just fine to Thousand Trails Orlando. We've been here for a couple of days now. And like I said before, we're here to check things out make sure everything works and we ran into a couple of issues already one of the problems that we have found is here in the bathroom where the shower is we found one little leak right here in the corner just outside the bathtub and it's coming from right here in the corner so of course we we're looking at seals Everything has been resealed, but what we've noticed is in between the sliding door, there was no seal right here. There was no caulking, and we believe that's where it came from. So we've recaulked and sealed this entire bathtub, including right here in between. And hopefully this will stop this leak we will find out tonight when we take another shower so the problem here that we ran into and I pretty much have figured out now what the issue could be 
But when we turn from tank, which basically is the setting that you use when you travel with this coach, and you can use the water that's in the holding tank on the other side of the rig. But when you get to a campground and you have a water connection, you turn this valve to city. And then you turn on your water. And then you're supposed to have water go into the coach and obviously bypass the holding tank that you use for transit on the other side of the rig. But what happens here is when we turn this on the city and we turn on the water, it's also filling up the holding tank on the other side to the point of when the holding tank gets full, there are some couple of overflow valves, uh, overflow pipes, and the water just dumps out on the ground. So there's obviously a a leak in this Anderson valve, I'm guessing, and this Anderson valve here needs to be replaced. From what I understand and the research I've done is that these Anderson valves, these old ones, have all plastic fittings behind them and they do go bad. And a lot of people have been replacing them with new Anderson valves that are brass fittings on the other side. And that supposedly it cleared up a lot of issues. So that's probably something we need to do. In the meantime, what we've done is we basically just been using holding tanks. So we fill up our, our travel tank. We don't turn on the water to the rig through our water connection here at the campground. And then we just turn on our um, water pump every time we need water. So, I mean, it's livable, it's usable, it's not a big deal, but again, the purpose for us being here is to see where she misbehaves and this is one of the things we need to um, attack and fix okay so now we're on the other side where the holding tank is that you can see right here and this is our travel water and we have an 80 gallon travel tank and right now we're at 75 gallons so this is the water that we use while we're at the campground as well. So every time I turn on city on the other side, it trickles water in here as well. And it fills up the tank to the top. And then it has these overflow pipes right here. And so if the water overfills, water just gushes out through these um, hoses. There's one on this side one on this side and it just goes straight down to the bottom of the rig and onto the ground so if we leave this on we just constantly have water rushing out of here and it's something we didn't want to do so we we'll just use the travel water right now jojo how is my baby hi this is a good girl right here pest control oh yeah we're gonna give this a try. Pest control for outside or inside? Inside. It's called Mighty Mighty Mint, and it's um made with peppermint oil and had pretty decent reviews on Amazon and then some of the blogs that I've read. So it's for outside or inside? Inside. Oh, it's inside. Yeah, you can use it outside, but we're gonna try it inside first because we have the lights in the, the bays too. Probably. But you have to, these, this one you have to, uh, you have to use every few days. And it says it works for spiders, ants, centipedes, and some other stuff, so. But it really is strong smelling. I can smell it. Yeah, so they said you gotta use it with caution if somebody's sensitive to the smell. So yeah, besides pest control, <clears throat> the other things that we have done to eliminate any kind of rodents, snakes any other pests to come near the rig um, is what we've done so far is we attached some lights all the way around the RV so lights supposed to keep rodents away and for snakes what we have done is we purchased 
um, snake repellents that go into the ground and these are these guys and they're solar activated and they're supposed to keep snakes away so we have one here we have one over there and then two on the other end so that we make a uh, perfect square here around the entire RV whether or not all this stuff works don't know but we haven't seen any rodents and we haven't seen any snakes <clears throat> so I guess that's one way to measure if something works or not um, but time will tell again we've had it now for three days here and so far so good all right, I lost the bet. And Leslie wants to... Dinner's in progress. Raise the stakes with a bet. He was, he won't do it. Instant pot dinner. And there's the winner. Mm. Garlic mushroom rice. Right, let's eat. Being nosy. I'm not. I'm looking at the clouds. <laughs> There's nobody next to us. No. Yeah. Okay, we hope you enjoyed this video from our maiden voyage with Onyx. If you like this video, please smash that like button. If you're new here, subscribe, hit the bell button for future notifications. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and of course on Our Village, rvillage.com. You can check us out under Mark and Leslie or join our group there under Road Notes. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.